Well, to begin with what doesn't work so well, I, I think the previous approach of if three or four AP courses are good, then 10 must be even better. Mm -hmm. I think we're, uh, we're, we're seeing a change in that behavior. Uh, I think colleges are recognizing that uh, there's been too much pressure focused around specific tests, uh, SATs, APs, IBs, and we're looking more for the whole student. Uh, so even though we're looking for demanding courses uh, and students who've really been challenged by their high schools and some evidence of, of really advanced work, but not the formulas. Uh, we, we look at everything in context. We'll look at, at SAT uh, scores, for example, and take into account what type of school the student's been to and what the rest of their experience has been. So we look at the whole picture, not just at a, a, a few numbers. Mm -hmm. And that, I think, is a, is a change. Uh, I think there's a, a recognition that perhaps colleges and universities have been too focused on the numerical outcomes uh, from high school. And now we're uh, able, at a place like Pomona College, to look more at the whole student, uh, to look at what they write, what the teachers are writing. We're taking that much more seriously mm -hmm. uh, in our assessment of the whole student. One thing which we always look for is leadership. Um, leadership is something that might be hard to assess, but it's uh, something that the school is best able to judge and, and comment on and suggest to us. Because we're looking for students who have um, really gotten involved, not in a huge number of things. It's not just the resume, the, the list of 10 or 15 organizations. It's the areas in which they've shown real passion and commitment uh, and made a difference to their school. Uh, and and so the, the type of student who steps up as a leader in high school is exactly the sort of student we want to have uh, at our college. Mm -hmm. So it's those types of qualities that we look for from, mm -hmm. from schools. Mm -hmm. well, several areas I'd mention. First would be uh, the international dimension of life and education. And I'm not talking about sending students abroad necessarily. A few students will have that opportunity, but I'm talking about bringing the world to their campuses. Mm -hmm. So that whether it's uh, speakers, whether it's faculty from your schools, teachers who have the chance to have international experience which they can bring back to campus, I think the richness of mm -hmm. the whole world needs to be more part of our high schools. And that's one suggestion I'd make. Mm -hmm. um, a second suggestion would be uh, to focus on the arts. Uh, I think that it's something that not every school is able to do well, and those that are, it really makes them distinctive. And when I say to focus on the arts, I don't just mean for those few students who will really be totally passionate, spend all of their time in the theater or whatever it might be, but for every student to have that engagement with art, music, theater. Uh, it's a different dimension. It's different from the test taking, the book work, the reading and writing, which they're used to and it stretches students in ways which are really important. So I think oh. to emphasize the arts is a, uh -huh. is a really valuable direction for schools as well. Well, what we're seeing in, in colleges, and I think to some extent in schools, is broader means of assessment, uh, the traditional tests. Uh, obviously, multiple choice tests have pretty much disappeared at colleges like ours. Mm -hmm. But even just the standard of assessment, uh, standard assessment of essay questions, that's valuable. But we also want to look at longer term assessment, uh, portfolio methods, for example, mm -hmm. where you will look at a student's writing uh, from the beginning uh, to the end of the year and, mm -hmm. and see ways in which it's developed. Uh, that type of broader assessment, not instantaneous, but looking at development over the course of a year or even over several years, uh, that's what we're starting to do in colleges with writing and with speaking and with other areas. And I think bringing that into the, the high schools would be very valuable also. That's exactly what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. uh, we're looking for authentic students who've had uh, experiences that go deeply, as you say, who've had passions for particular subjects or areas and delve deeply into them and gotten really excited by them so they can bring that excitement to our college. And also students who've been uh, closely connected to community, uh, both school community and the community mm. beyond, the, the outside world. 
those types of engagements are exactly what we're looking for because that's what will bring uh, the type of student who will make a real difference on our campus. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I, I think that uh, we are very much looking for students who go beyond the traditional measures of success um, and who've um, really taken their high school and their high school experience and made it something very personal for them. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so that, that authentic voice is what we look for in applications and in the students we're, we're mm -hmm. searching for. So mm -hmm. I think these are definitely the directions that schools should be uh, exploring mm -hmm. as they think about the future for their students. Mm -hmm. Advising our students to really reap everything they can out of their high school experience. Yeah, take advantage of all those mm -hmm. opportunities. Mm -hmm. High school is a very special time and um, really reach for those new things, challenge yourself, do some things that might be uh, a little uncomfortable even, uh, mm -hmm. something that um, you, you don't know you can definitely ace. Uh, those types of challenges uh, help students to grow and that shows up uh, when they head off to college. Mm -hmm. I think uh, the partnership between mm -hmm. schools and colleges is really important and I, mm -hmm. I think we should look for ways in which we can talk more to each other you mm -hmm. know, and uh, this is a great opportunity. Yes.